One day after announcing it's skipping town and putting 500 people out of work, Electrolux agrees to pay back millions in tax dollar subsidies. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Late this afternoon, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland said Electrolux is voluntarily releasing its part of a pilot tax break. The pilot was part of a massive $200 million tax incentive package. Now, in a statement, Strickland said that when he met with Electrolux, we made our expectation clear that our number one priority was taking care of the employees that will lose their livelihoods. In addition, we asked for the land and buildings to be returned to the citizens who paid for them. Also today, the county assessor expressing his outrage at Electrolux, saying the county should sue for back taxes. A lot going on. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live downtown with this breaking news. Brad? Yeah, Richard, there certainly is. And in just the last couple of minutes, a new wrinkle in this story as the president of EDGE, which offers those incentive packages, disagrees with the county assessor that Electrolux does in fact owe back taxes. That will be sorted out in the weeks and months ahead as this financial fallout continues with this abandoned deal. When it comes to Electrolux, Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess is crystal clear. You know, we have to hold them accountable. After the company announced the 2020 closing of its Southwest Memphis plant and a breach of its incentive agreements, a team of appraisers will go to the Electrolux property for a new estimate in back taxes. The moment Electrolux is declared in breach of this agreement, it is my duty to, pay, to place Electrolux back on the tax rolls. Burgess estimates right now Electrolux owes more than $14 million in city and county taxes dating back to 2013. The assessor's office plans to collect. This is a huge one. This is major. Today, Burgess also offered this warning to any other companies who might consider following Electrolux's lead and bolting from a similar tax break agreement. You know, when a contract is breached, you know, we just want to make sure that we got our things in place so this won't set a precedent for other companies to come and feel that they can just get away, you know, without, you know, meeting their, you know, their, their due or what was said in the contract. Now, the Shelby County Assessor added this morning that it would still be up to the Memphis mayor and Shelby County mayor on how they would pursue any potential attempt at back taxes and whether they would potentially file a lawsuit against Electrolux. At 6, hear more from the EDGE president on lessons learned from this Electrolux agreement. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Right.